Hi, I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Over here in the Ring Cotton Channels, we've been catching good fish. I know I put this in my report every year around this time, but it's just, it's really good when that cold weather starts hitting. Those fish pile in here, getting these little fingers, the little canals in here uh, are good, just like the Padre Al canals. These little canals in the housing development are pretty good. Um, I actually, on my way over here, saw some guys hooked up on fish along this little flat park. There's a little park right here. You can park your truck or just take your boat back here, uh, put the trolling motor down and fish. And those guys were hooked up when I was driving by. It was kind of cool watching them catch fish. Uh, back here in the back is good. Uh, sometimes that north wind will blow all the fish back into this little cul-de-sac and uh, kind of stack them back it's like catching fish in a barrel back here but you know don't don't bypass these especially on a on a real cold windy day you can put your boat in the water here turn the corner and you're immediately in a lot of good fishing area and you can fish both of these uh, you could spend all day in here catching fish and never have to worry about fishing the rest of the Oasis Bay when it's all muddy up here in the north end of the bay, you know, this is a good spot to fish pretty much all winter long. Uh, when that north wind blows, all this water is pretty clean. Uh, not, I don't mean crystal clear, but I mean green, trout green. Uh, you know, you have the start of the, the fish habitat right here. You've got some protected water in between all these little channels. Uh, you throw corkies down this shoreline, you can throw paddle tails, uh, live shrimp under a cork. Uh, some of these reefs out here a little bit further, uh, like I said, uh, this fall when I was catching redfish on them, uh, just downwind of the reef, there's some clean water, even though as you take your boat over here, it looks like it's solid mud. Once you get within casting distance of the reef, you realize real quick, just downwind of the reef, there's a little stre a little vein of clean green water. So I know when you're sitting on the shoreline over here, as you look out across the bay and you see these reefs, you think, oh well, it's just muddy all the way across. It's muddy all the way till you come off plane and you idle up to the, or you troll a motor up to the uh, reef and then you realize, oh, there's a little vein of a green, clean water right on the back side of this reef. So don't don't count this out, especially if you're already up here fishing these north end, you know, wade fishing, you're done doing your wade for the morning, uh, and you want to get a few more fish, these reefs over here are a good second best to come over and get a few drum, maybe a couple of trout. Up here around the Lexington, we've been catching black drum, black drum, and more black drum. Uh, all up and down these rocks, what a lot of people like to do is park their boats all around the rocks, little gaps in the rocks, throwing cut crab, sea lice, um, live shrimp, dead shrimp, and uh, just sit there, either power pulled down on a calm day or anchored from the bow on a, on a windier day. And... Uh, Man, there's a ton of fish in here. If you just have the patience to, you know, fish a little gut, move down a little ways, fish a little gut. You know, two or three guts may not have fish. Don't lose confidence because there are fish in here and they're moving around. And uh, you just got to kind of find, if you see a few mullet flick in or you see uh, some bait activity uh, pull down in there, you see a color change a lot of time. If you've got a north wind blowing in here, you'll see a, a straight line where it's chocolate milk right next to solid clean green. Go ahead and fish that color change. Uh, usually over here, it's a power pull down or anchor type, not a drift. But you just come in here and just just work around the rocks. You know, uh, I saw some guys in here spear fishing the sheep's head. That's always a lot of fun. You come in here with your, either your bow or, your, you know, you know your spear gun, and spear fish, those sheep's head. They like to do that, and putting their wet suit on. The water's about 62, 63 degrees on those warmer days. 
a little bit cooler on the cold fronts, but not too bad. And, uh, yeah, the uh, big drum are on their way. Not quite in full force yet, but they're coming. Uh, already seen reports of guys coming down here at night catching big oversized drum. But they are on their way as we get more and more passing cold fronts. Grant Coppin, thanks for watching.